What's up everyone and welcome to a new video, my name is Omar with Real Gamer Review and today we'll be reviewing the recently released game Man Eater. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and liking the video, and turn on the bell icon to see more videos like this one. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Maneater is an open-world shark adventure game developed and published by Tripwire Interactive. The game is released on PS4, Xbox One, and PC, also scheduled for release on Nintendo Switch later this year. I've been playing this game for a bit over a week now on the PS4 Pro, and I have to tell you guys it's a pretty good game. I'll try to cover all the aspects of the game through the video while trying to avoid spoilers as much as possible. You start out playing as the mama shark, as the game gives you the gameplay instructions and all the moves until the villain of the story named Scaly Pete catches you and kills you. Kill him all if I could. Too bad, eh? but 24 hours to a day. But he discovers in the process that mama shark is pregnant. In the cutscene you see the baby escaping with a piece of the villain's arm and that's how the story and the real gameplay begins. From there you start as the weak baby shark and you are set for a quest to grow bigger, age and mature to be strong enough for revenge. In terms of story, don't expect a very deep story like the big games out there and I actually totally understand and don't mind it, as in the end you are playing with a shark. So I guess it's a pretty solid story for this type of game. So as I mentioned before, you start after the mama shark accident as the weak baby shark in an open world of a fictional area called Port Clovis, with a decent map size that is split into 7 regions. You will notice that the more you advance, the more the water will get deeper, bigger and bluer. The shark has several basic attacks, including charging into enemies, bursting out of the water, and whipping enemies with your tail to stun them. But the last one won't be available right from the start, as you need to grow and level up a bit before unlocking it. Another nice mechanic that you will unlock when the shark is old enough is thrashing, which is basically grabbing your enemies with the shark's jaw and thrashing them around to decrease their health much faster. The shark needs to hunt and consume other aquatic wildlife such as fish and turtles in order to obtain nutrients, namely proteins, fats, minerals, as you will be using them for upgrades. Players can also attack humans by wrecking havoc along the coast, destroying yachts and ships, and knocking people off jet skis. At the same time, there are other predators that can fight back or hunt you down if you are near enough and some of them can be really challenging, especially if they are on a way higher level than you. As for the swimming mechanics, it is as you would exactly expect from a shark. You can swim freely underwater and there is a short boost button. Also, you can go to the surface and skim along the top to see the world around you. You can also do quests and hunt for collectibles besides the main missions. Each region will have its own apex predator, such as alligators, barracuda, other types of sharks, and even whales. Defeating these predators will earn the player special skills and will kind of guide you to proceed to the next region. The world of the game is reactive as the shark creates more havoc and hunts down more humans, more bounty hunters will be dispatched to hunt you down. There are 10 main lead hunters, if you manage to kill them all, you will receive additional rewards. Another very nice feature in the game is that the game is narrated by the host of an in-game reality TV show titled Men Eaters vs Shark Hunters, voiced by Chris Parnell, who guides the player throughout the game and narrates pretty fun stuff while you're playing. Initially a remote fishing village, state and county authorities paid scant attention to Port Clovis, allowing it to become a thriving hub of sex tourism. The gameplay and combat mechanics are pretty simple and easy to use, but so much fun at the same time. I had a lot of fun progressing from a baby shark to a sea monster and going back to the region that you first started in to hunt down the predators that were bigger and stronger than you before. Also hunting humans is pretty cool and fun especially when you jump on land to grab them. You can do a lot of stuff when it comes to humans, you can grab them from underwater while swimming, catch them from boats and destroying those boats and drowning them, grabbing humans from land and dragging them under the water. A lot of fun stuff and what makes it even better is the over the top animations that they created in the game. One slight issue that annoyed me a bit but still didn't ruin the experience is the lock on system. 
as it's the same button that you use to move your camera so I felt it's not very accurate and sometimes it was a bit annoying especially when fighting faster opponents as you need to point your camera exactly at the opponent to get a lockdown. It gets slightly better when your shark starts getting bigger but still it was a bit annoying. I watched a lot of reviewers in the past couple of weeks saying that the missions are kind of repetitive and one big channel out there was saying that the combat mechanics are kind of repetitive as it consists of bite dodge bite dodge. Well it's a shark game what do you expect to start holding weapons and sniping humans? Come on! Be realistic and objective when you judge a game. You need to judge the game based on the aspects that it's built on. Like you can't compare this game with Call of Duty or Assassin's Creed for example. Man Eater gameplay, combat mechanics and missions are pretty solid for what it is, period. The game does a pretty good job when it comes to music as it only comes on at certain moments. It's a subtle simple track in the background and it kind of stops when you're swimming around and exploring which is pretty good in my opinion as it gives you a good sensation of the aquatic environment around you and it only amps up when it really needs to so you don't feel that they are overdoing it. The sound effects of the bites, chopping and eating other aquatic creatures and humans are pretty solid. Overall sound and music experience are pretty good. Also this game reminds me a lot of a mobile game called Hungry Shark which was developed by Ubisoft. It has pretty similar mechanics and overall experience but of course Man Eater is on a way bigger scale and graphics but still Hungry Shark is a pretty nice game if you want to try it or maybe play it on your free time when you don't have access to a console or PC. It's available on iOS and Android if you want to give it a try. For the evolving and upgrade part, it's a pretty solid system. You can upgrade your organs, teeth and fins and the size of your shark gets upgraded automatically every time you level up. You can also have different types of teeth, like for example electric teeth that can stun your enemies or different types of exterior changes like bone armor to protect yourself from attacks. But bear in mind that you begin with a limited number of slots and as you advance you unlock more. For the final verdict about what I think of this game, I found only one small tiny issue that annoyed me throughout the game which is the lock on mechanics as it's the same button as the camera movement. But other than that, this game is awesome and offers a fun experience that will keep you engaged to the very last moment. And as I said before, don't make the mistake of judging or comparing this game to other famous games out there as this game excels in its own zone and criteria. I totally recommend picking up this game if you are in for a different and new super fun experience away from the stereotypes of other games out there. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to watch more videos like this one.